Yeah, yeah, you know the joke at this point. There's more stuff? There's always more stuff in Breath of the Wild. If you want to keep seeing new things, you know what to do. Just let us know with a like. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Many players know that Lynels have a secret ability to retreat and teleport back to their territory if they're too far away from home. But this teleport is never used to attack you. Wait a second. Uh, well, this Lionel near Tabantha Bridge Stable can go on the attack and teleport to you at several points off its plateau. By repeatedly parrying it until it falls off, then heading out of its arena while it's warping, it will chase you down for a follow-up fight. For players who have fought tons of Lionels, this can be a nice change of scenery. And did you know that with frame-perfect timing, you can mount and teleport with the Lionel? When completing the final trial of the sword, you will approach these monks to receive the fully powered up Master Sword. What you might not know is that by clipping inside, you can meet them face to face. And they even have the wake option. Unfortunately, it doesn't actually do anything, but the fact that they have this interaction at all is pretty interesting. Also, you can then pull the Master Sword from the inside, which looks pretty amazing with all the shrines like particles. Did you also know that these monks all represent the Seven Sages poses, specifically from Ocarina of Time? And all four Great Plateau monks' hand signs combine together to become the Triforce symbol. Did you know that the entirety of Hyrule has water underneath? This is how developers created lakes and rivers, by simply pulling up the water level above ground where it was needed to create bodies of water. This was supposedly done to help with the game's performance. And on the same subject, the developers used special editing tools to manually create Hyrule by hand. These were the tools used in its creation. These icons include all sorts of brushes and height map tools, many of which players have seen the basics of when clipping out of bounds. During development, the game's executable file isn't simply called breathofthewild.exe, it has a code name. Breath of the Wild was called uking.rpx, and other recent Zelda games were codenamed by playing cards as well, such as Wind Waker HD, called Sea King, Ocarina of Time 3D by Queen, A Link Between Worlds as Jack, Majora's Mask 3D as Joker, and Triforce Heroes as Alice? It's possible that all of this is a partial reference to Alice in Wonderland. There are a ton of entries in the compendium, all requiring you to take a picture of the item first. And there is also a shortcut way to purchase all of them. But either way forces you to do one thing first, take a picture of this sunshroom. You have to do this. So either way, your compendium will never have a default picture of a sunshroom. But it does exist. This is the default sunshroom photo, called Item Mushroom C. Did you know that you can destroy pebblets with your flurry rushing body? Your rushdown itself when colliding with pebblets has enough momentum to destroy them. This won't work if you're too close. In the giant's forest, there's a sleeping Hinox surrounded by trees, and it often picks up one of those pre-cut logs around it to pummel you with. But the developers misplaced one. One log is found underground, floating on the water below. There's a cutscene in the Age of Calamity DLC that has Zelda cooking up a nice stew. This is a real recipe that can be recreated in Breath of the Wild, with the initial ingredients of a Hylian shroom, raw meat, fresh milk, and Hyrule bass making a delicious meat and seafood fry, <laughs> but was instead ruined by adding a dash of monster extract, which then turned it into a monster stew. <laughs> Judging by their reaction, that doesn't sound very tasty anymore. Did you know that Hinox can swim? It's not as straightforward as just being able to swim though. They have a unique animation of swimming itself and being stunned while swimming. Not only that, they have similar AI to horses to look for the closest shoreline to get back onto solid ground. And if it can't find any nearby shoreline within one minute, it will drown with a unique animation and sound for it.
The sound effect used is called Giant VO Cry 1. Okay, now I feel bad. Did you know that you can make soft boiled eggs with hot water? Okay, you probably knew that one. But how about campfire eggs with fire? Okay, that's too easy. How about cooking eggs with a BMOS laser? Yeah, this one's weird. A BMOS laser has the ability to cook eggs. Other ingredients just get destroyed or ignored, so this is purely an egg thing. Don't ask me why. This is a subtle detail you might not have noticed, but all Sheikahs are completely unfazed by rain. While most other races run for cover while it's raining, all Sheikah don't care, or even prefer it. If you talk to Dorian or Kado while it's raining, they'll explain how Sheikah outfits keep the rain off, ward off lightning, and are still comfortable when wet. You can see Bakongo always stay outside rather than hide inside the stable with the other Hylians, as he's more in his element in the rain. Some players still don't know that feeding enemies isn't just a distraction technique, it actually heals them. Do you actually understand how Guardians work? Guardians have a hidden rule you may or may not have noticed. Their movement is dependent on which direction Link is facing. This is why many new players have such a hard time against Guardians, because being a coward and running with your back turned only makes them chase down your front side and make the situation worse. Once you understand this rule, aiming at Guardians becomes painless. By simply looking in the direction you want them to be, they'll literally line up their eye right in your crosshairs for you. Guardians are also capable of attacking your enemies if pulled far away enough from their home area. If any enemy attack strikes them, they'll switch targets and hit them back. Did you know that you could backflip out of Atalus' left hand punch? Its other attacks can't be dodged this way. Previously, I've shown the random patch of lava near the Colosseum, but did you know about the secret patch of ice water in the Lost Woods? Using active arrow smuggling and a campfire, you can head off the beaten path near the entrance of Mag Halan Shrine, and you'll find an invisible patch of normal water with small patches of ice water beneath the grass. You can see Link taking damage and his thermometer freezes up. Alright, now we're onto endgame boss stuff, so heads up for any new players. Several episodes ago, I showed how Yiga foot soldiers while teleporting used actual ninjutsu by summoning cursed Hylian letters, representing the Kuchi incantation. Maz Koshia as a real Shika monk can do this as well, but his version is in Shika instead of Hylian. Pretty interesting lore implications here. There's a couple of old hidden tricks when fighting Maz Koshia, such as tracking down the real monk between the clones when he duplicates by simply pulling out your camera to scan the real one. And if you're ever overwhelmed while fighting Maz Koshia, just pull out a banana. This little monk can deny a fresh banana. <laughs> Dark Beast Ganon. Most players can agree that he's pretty much a pushover. I wouldn't even call this a fight. What are you even shooting at, man? But what if he upped the ante just a tad with Guardians? Lots of Guardians. By kiting Guardians to the center of Hyrule, then disabling them so they stay permanently loaded and don't move, you can collect a small army of Guardian Stalkers. Then by beating Calamity Ganon while they're still loaded, Dark Beast Ganon will load in with the surrounding Guardian army. Unlocking them with bomb arrows or other means makes them fight Link alongside Dark Beast Ganon for an epic battle. For some reason, this looks way more canon story-wise for a final fight against Ganon. Take some notes, Nintendo. Hopefully, you'll learn a new thing or two, because Breath of the Wild is truly a never-ending game. We also have a playlist that includes other Breath of the Wild videos we still make about topics not mentioned in this series, so keep it here on GameSpot. <laughs>